Right, we made it to module nine, where you're going to deal with some non-parametric tests. Um, in the, in one section, it shows to read all of chapter 17, but the only thing you really need to be concerned with are these two different topics, um, the Man Whitney and the Kreska Wallace. And you'll see that both of these are what I have the videos on. And, and these are pretty cool tests because everything that you've seen in statistics, what does it always say? Assume the populations are normally distributed. Well, what's kind of nice are these type populations, we don't have to have that assumption. All right, so um, definitely going to get into these two different tests. And if you go into module nine, and you look at 9.1, non-parametric test, and you get through all the read, the read, and then the watch. Um, you're going to see that I have two videos. And also what I did is I just actually attached my completed Excel spreadsheet. So that might help where you don't have to redo the formulas when you get ready. You'll just have to adjust them, you know, depending on your actual size of the data set and so be sure you watch both of those because I walk you through how to do both of those tests and so this week you're going to have another conference activity all right so you'll see the conference activity set up in same as you've been seeing as you're seeing in module eight right so the next one will be module nine and then you'll have a quiz and then the other thing you're going to have is a work plan and I will post these in your team area. So remember, there's a difference between a conference activity. That's just a general discussion area where you're discussing different topics with students. The team area is where you're actually going to be doing your teamwork. Okay, And that, as I'll show you here on the schedule, because I'm going to open both of these the same week you'll be doing those together. Now, I don't want you to get like all confused because in module nine, you have a conference activity and the work plan is in the team area. So be sure you look at the team area. So I'll put this document in here, but basically what the work plan is, is trying to figure out, okay, how you guys are going to work together to complete this project. All right, and so um, definitely read through this, but, you know, everybody needs to respect each other, have dignity, um, keep an open mind, listen to all members. One person doesn't need to run the show. Um, and then what you're going to end up doing is you're going to make a work plan of how you're going to complete your project. And that's what all of this is saying and what would happen if conflict actually occurs. And you know, how, how would the person that's actually going to be the coordinator deal with it? Um, this is just a template that you can use if you want, but you should come up with your own work plan of how you guys are going to complete your case. Let's call it, because that's what it's called in here, is a case. So this week, you're in the conference activity, which is not your team. The conference activity is a discussion group. I know it's confusing to me too, right? So the conference activity is your discussion group. The work plan will be in your team area. Conference activity discussion groups have, you know, about 25 of your classmates in it. Your team area should only have about five of your classmates in it. And so you will turn in this work plan and then, of course, take a quiz. So this week, these three things are due. And then I will open I will go ahead and open up your case analysis where you're going to be given a problem, a case, and it as well will be in your team area. So your actual team area and you will complete this case analysis. All right. So you'll be able to see it in there and then you'll come in here to case analysis and you will submit it. All right, so if you have any questions at all about the difference between the conference and then your team, be sure and ask me, all right? So again, the conference, just a discussion area for module nine where you're gonna have a discussion going on and then the, the team area where you're gonna actually complete 
a project, this case analysis.